What's happening, YouTube? Simulation Junkie back with another pickup video. And um, we got some flea market and we have some eBay this week. Uh, we're going to start off first with super pickups because this is what this is a super pickup. Uh, a few years ago, when my kids had the uh, Nintendo Wii, uh, I saw this title and I really wanted to pick it up because it does look like NASCAR, it does look like the Camping World Truck Series. Uh, you, they do have real sponsors BF Goodrich. Uh, Manny Moe and Jack over there, the Pep Boys, and um, they also have the Kane N series on there. So I was pretty interested a few years ago, um, but I was not willing to pay retail. I happened to find the state the flea market sealed for three dollars. Um, popped it in, and it's just as bad as I expected. However, for three dollars, not bad for the collection. Um, would not recommend it. I may do a little gameplay on it just if you're interested in the future, but uh, probably not. We'll see if anybody requests it. Um, the second thing was NASCAR Celebration. Uh, nice uh, coffee table book. It looked very familiar, and of course I had it. Uh, I paid a dollar for it. Not a bad deal. Um, but also, at the same stand, the woman had uh, this plastic uh, license plate, Kyle Petty, Hot Wheels, number 44. Not a big Kyle Petty fan, however, his commentary has kind of grown on me the last couple of years. Uh, nonetheless, it'll be good for the uh, garage wall. Uh, something off eBay. Uh, I paid five dollars, or actually four dollars and eighty-eight cents, uh, shipped Pro Race Driver. Now I had this for the PlayStation Two. Um, I actually started off with the PlayStation Two as my primary console. And um, I had it for the PlayStation 2. Loved it. Loved it so much that uh, I ended up getting uh, Toka Race Car Driver 2 and 3, which are the sequels to this series right here. And if you still play those consoles, guys, Codemasters did a hell of a job with this series and really went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Gran Turismos and the Forzas back in the day. Uh, tremendous, tremendous game it really takes you across a whole bunch of different classes of cars and um, really wanted to get this for the Xbox the Xbox is now my I guess retro um, console of choice these days um, but I really wanted it for the Xbox I got it so now the collection is complete and I would love to play through this one day you know or a couple months play through this whole series it really is great so highly recommend this game don't recommend this game. Um, all these die casts right here, I paid, let me see, I paid $4 for it. Um, nothing too special. We have Mark Martin car here. I believe this is the car that Mark drove right after Junior left DEI. Uh, Matt Kenseth. Uh, this one's pretty cool because it actually celebrates him winning the championship. I'll tell you what, DeWalt really stuck with him a long time. We got these three Jeff Gordon 24 cars. I'll try to get for you. Um, I believe this one is his 96 uh, Rainbow Warriors. This car right here is pretty cool, actually. It actually has a really nice paint job, which my lighting and camera won't pick up, but it definitely has a little bit of sparkle to it. Really nice. Your standard 24 DuPont. And then these two J.J. Yaley cars were cars I guess that he drove in Dover Delaware a few years ago and it says uh, it's a car to commemorate you know, not to drink and drive obviously pretty cool uh, we have number 42 this is Juan Pablo you know it's funny when I first started collecting die cast cars at the flea market you could not find a car tomorrow at all I guess I started in 2009 or 2010 these cars were just not out of the package yet, and now they're all over the place. So, Juan Pablo, number 44 to go along with the, uh, the license plate there. And if you're collecting die-cast cars at the flea market or um, at yard sales, to me, there's two cars that show up all the time. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh, if there's a bin and you have to dig cars out, it's this car right here. And this car right there it's amazing 
Um, and to top it off, we got number 48, Jimmy Johnson Lowe's. And one of the coolest pickups is right here. Now, I'm not a Jeff Gordon fan, but uh, this was the last garage sale I went to. I only went to three this weekend. And uh, they were moving out of their home. They had a, um, a mobile home that they used to take lots of trips on. And they said that this was in there for whenever they went to the races. She said it was only used a handful of times. Cleaned it up really well. It works great. I'm taking it to work tomorrow. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a few more yard sales in before the snow comes. But that's all I have for now. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Keep the hobby alive. And God bless. Take care.